Ta -da! Hey there, welcome to this beautiful space. And today we're going to be talking about what you must do the very first day to at least one month of you relocating down to the United Kingdom. I mean, the mainland. I'm not sure of other part of the United Kingdom, but I'm going to tell you about what I'm sure of. So, without further ado, first of all, please subscribe to this channel because I am not about to even fake anything here. My channel is about telling you guys the truth. Every little things you have to know from, from China, from Nigeria, now in UK, brothers and sisters please listen to me okay no one is gonna tell you like this or no one gonna bring it out to you like this please listen up and get your jota or maybe your book and your pen get them ready because i'm about to spit out the truth nothing but the truth anyways i'm gonna see you after the the intro <laughs> so now let's get into business okay so before this video i was about probably i was thinking probably should i make a note okay so that i could just read through my notes or i just simply you know say it how it is so i you know chose the the, the, the second option to like just give you guys a one-on-one -on -one talk so that it can be fresh in me coming out you know trying to tell you guys advice and all of that so without further ado i'm just gonna go to the very first thing you must do at least before getting into the uk so for someone like me i'm currently here on dependent visa and i'm gonna do that in my another video okay on how to come here through dependent even if they said the january 2024 you are not allowed to get your spouse in due to the student policy i mean <laughs> so redirect yourself to my other video so you can watch that and also know how to apply for that so on today's video please before you enter here make sure you have a sim card so for like me when i had my intro okay i didn't have an interview i just submitted and the very first day i submitted my visa i did mine in lagos okay um victoria islands with precise because i was advised to go to victoria Island for my husband being that they don't have so much crowd there and things are actually for some reason very swift so i took to the advice and then i went there so on on getting to the place after i submitted my document if you want to know the document you might need for your dependent visa please check the dependent visa um, video as well i might not link it okay up here i might not link it so please go to my playlist or my videos and also and probably check that so um i was about leaving because i mean the treatment was actually very great we had our snack you could even take anything you want you could give yourself coffee tea probably because i paid for the premium and um as as we we're about leaving the place it was they were, they were like okay you guys should wait and they gave us a sim card the sim card contained about 100 hours of uk national calls free 15 gigs of um um data yes and the sim card is called libera so for some reason i was like why are they giving us sim card is it that our visa is sure 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 because the truth is i really was like i was panicking if i was gonna get that dependent visa because the rule was january 2024 everything is gonna stop blah 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 but anyways i got it and that was the first thing i did you like i got um up there like i i i used the egyptian airline if you've not seen my video where i talked about the racism comments on egyptian how it was my my personal experience please go to that video and watch um what you might face as a nigerian using egyptian airline to london so on um, getting almost to london because you know they have a map up there so what i did was that i um removed my 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 sim card my nigerian sim card and my chinese sim card i put them in a 
in a full in a small sim folder and then i removed the uk one the gift to us and then i inserted it and once we got to london it was like Ta-da! welcome to united kingdom welcome thanks for using libera <laughs> i'm like yeah i mean mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so it didn't it didn't it like it wasn't like when i got to china and then i said I, as we had to start looking for a way to buy beijing i mean chinese card and then we, we fall into the a big scam of buying one expensive sim card like that because i mean we had no option but yeah so number one thing is you must have a uk sim card or i mean you can always use the airport wi-fi but it doesn't like it's not as convenient as using your own sim card and number two when you get here or before you get here or you don't have an apartment or you're not coming on a student visa for you not to be stranded my brothers and my sisters in the lord please get an airbnb or a hotel so you can lay your head for at least a day before you find your way except you have someone coming to pick you so in my own case my husband was here and he booked me a hotel for a day so i could relax we could you know reunite and all so yeah Please book a hotel, book a place to stay. Even if you don't eat, just book a place to stay. Okay, it's quite important because the weather here. That brings me to my third point. Please get a jacket because I'm not sure why the weather is like this here. Because I know in my beautiful China and my beautiful Nigeria, our summer is summering. <laughs> Our winter is wintering as well. I mean, there's no winter in Nigeria, but in China, the summer is. Oof. The summer is crazy, you guys. So please get a jacket because the summer here is not really like a summer. I mean, it depends on where you're going, but where I am currently, it's kind of cold. I mean, you, can, you guys can see me on my jacket, right? I'm, an, I'm actually on. A leather jacket to tell you that it's actually breezy i'm inside the house actually and it's summer but it's cold so please get your jacket you would not expect you may, you may not really know what to expect and especially in london i think the weather then the, the climate then was about 17 16 17 on that day which is i mean pretty chilled for me um compared to like 40 degrees in China and about 28, 30 in Nigeria. So yeah, please get your jackets. And another one is, I wouldn't want this video to be long, okay? So I think I'm gonna make it part two of this. I'm just gonna give you guys four points and the other video I'll make it four points as well. So the last point for this first half is that once you get here, please try and apply for stops line. That is your SWIFT code. I mean, one of the things or one of the first things I did here was trying to, you know, look for jobs and trying to get myself fit to the system, trying to know my whereabouts and all of that. So the first thing probably uh, a recruiter might ask you is a SWIFT code. That means a SWIFT code here is, is um, something that enables them to know if you have the right to work. That is if you're coming to work, okay? If you're a dependent like me, that you're free to do whatever you like. But if you're a student, I'm not really sure, but I think either ways you might you might need a SWIFT code, but then your SWIFT code is entitled to like 20 hours a week, which is the student rule here. So yeah, I'm gonna leave this one for the first half. You, can, you have to get your SIM card, you have to get your, um, jacket you have to get a hotel and number four is a swift code so i'm gonna see in my next video and if you've not subscribed and you like this kind of videos please give me a subscribe be my subscriber okay give me a thumbs up and subscribe and also share to people that are still planning to come to uk that are not here yet and are confused on oof what am i gonna expect anyways i'm gonna bring a whole lot of that for you because now I am expat in the United Kingdom, no longer China. But if you also have someone that wants to go to China, they want to live in China, please 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 go. With and that is what keeps me going. I'm gonna see in my next video. I love you. Bye.